The project aims to shed light on the issue of migration. 400 personal stories give it heart and soul, placing a different emphasis on the discourse. Each of the eight participating cities collected 50 letters. Gibraltar's contribution has been interesting, raising awareness of our historic and successive migration and frontier community. It's, it's eight cities, four countries, and it's the life experiences of 50 people in each one of those cities. So you end up with 400 testimonies. It's, a, it's an enormous job. It's been, it's been a lot of fun. I think it's been an eye-opener in many ways. Uh, and it's a reflection, I think, on, on a very topical theme uh, across Europe and across the world, really. And uh, it's, it's come together very, very well. And, uh, and it's been, it's been very exciting, really. The, the methodology behind uh, the, the Encyclopedia of Migrants has been important in not only giving this platform, this voice, but presenting the subject in a very accessible manner that breaks down barriers, breaks down borders, um, at a time when borders are going up all over the place. So yes, it's, it's, this is a, the encyclopedia itself is an art object. And uh, Paloma uh, Fernandez has thought of this in a very clear way in terms of not only the, the, the way that we are collecting all the testimonials, but in terms of the outcomes and how these outcomes have an afterlife. So um, the encyclopedia, although it is an, a, a, an art object, it is an object with a great heart, with a conscious, with, with something, an element in it that will make us think about who are migrants, make us ask questions about ourselves, whether we are migrants. Gibraltar's participation, a very unique one. So how much have we actually learned about Gibraltar's own migrant situation? Gibraltar's quite peculiar. All the other cities are parts of much larger nation states. Gibraltar is a nation state. We are the only one that has a border, as in quite close to the nation state itself. We have the phenomenon of people coming in every day to work. I mean, they're migrants too. They're economic migrants that come in and leave. We have Gibraltarians that live in Spain. Those are migrants too. We might not think they are, but they are. Uh, so, so actually, the, 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 by exploding the term migrants, you can consider so many different aspects of it. And let's not forget, since 1704, Gibraltar has been a city of migrants. I mean, the first people to found the Gibraltar that we know now were themselves migrants. A copy of the encyclopedia was presented to the mayor in a ceremony at the City Hall. Cayana Alvarino Lopez said the publication was another example of Gibraltar's multicultural community, referring to her own grandfather's migrant story. I'm from Vienna, people in Austria, and it just made me think about him a lot when, when I've seen this project and how he blended in so well in the family and I never ever thought that he was a migrant. This is Gibraltar, we, this is part of us, we identify ourselves with different backgrounds. That is what makes Gibraltar so special. And this is our special ingredient. How migrants come together and we are all one big family, no matter where they're from. The closing conference tomorrow at the Garrison Library will focus on assessment and reflection. Open to the public, it will feature three art installations by Ambrose Avellano, Shane Dalmedo and Alan Perez. Organisers hope their work reaches out and stimulates debate, with plans already for a second project to develop the theme further.